Hey, thank you for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We're in Psalm chapter 35, and it's Friday, so that means uh, <clears throat> no more uh, vlogs until Monday, so we'll see you Monday. Um, let's get going on this. So This is a long psalm. I read it yesterday. And uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip around a little bit. I'm going to skip through it, and let's see where we go today. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Remember, even um, Jesus, when he appeared to Saul, who later became Paul, he said, uh, why are you persecuting me? What are you doing? It's me that you're actually hurting, offending. Uh, the Lord does fight for you. If you're his, you're his, and he doesn't want people messing with you. Be the same as the same as you defending your own children. You would not want anyone to mess with them, and that's exactly where this is. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking down. It says, uh, verse four: Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Uh, he's not saying, Lord, these people who I don't like, just kill them all. He's saying people who are after after me, they, they're trying to do, they're trying to, to hurt me, they're trying to wound me, they're trying to discredit me, trying to ruin my, my image. Lord, uh, go after them. Verse 5 says, let them be like the shaft before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. Uh, verse 7, because this is crucial here. For without cause, they've hidden their net from me in a pit. He's saying, listen, these guys have no right or reason. I haven't done anything to them, at least not that I know of, Lord. I haven't done anything, but they're still like this. And Lord, because of this, go get them. Don't let them do this thing. It's <clears throat> it's horrible. Please help me out. Um, I, I, number eight, verse eight, let destruction come upon them unexpectedly. Uh, when it says all this, it says, verse 9, And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who's like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him? Yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. See, that's that's the deal. The Lord is is, is a defender for you and a defender for me. If anyone knew what that was like to be in a position where he could have been destroyed in a moment, it would have been King David before he was King David. Sure, in spirit he was, but he had so much to go through. His, his process to get there, 10 to 15 years of being chased, of being sought after, before he actually got to the promise. We always forget about the process. <clears throat> um. I, I, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking about all the different ways. I mean, over and over again, he keeps talking about how people speak against him. They speak deceitfully. They, they uh, um, Verse 21, they <laughs> open their mouth wide against me, said, aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. Uh, you know how many people are get excited? And maybe you have people who get excited over you. They're waiting for you to fall or you to fail. or So they can say, oh, so you're the Christian. Oh, we've all had our share of that. Someone to push your buttons as much as they possibly can to get you to respond. And as soon as you respond, and all you're doing is responding like them. But as soon as you do that, oh, now this is how Jesus acts, right? Now you're showing your true colors. You're not really a Christian. The fact is... Uh, you know, they've done it. They've done it to push you. They're trying to trying to get you to do something, so that they could catch you in something. People will do that. They will do that. But the Lord wants to be magnified in those situations. The Lord wants to be exalted in those times. It says verse twenty seven. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. 
and my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all day long. Now, <clears throat> the Bible said David lived a good long life, lived full of days, honor, and riches. So we know the Lord delivered him out of everything. Everything he went through, the Lord delivered him. That's why I look at verse 27. Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. The Lord wants you to prosper, <clears throat> and he will be magnified when you are. He is blessed when you are blessed. He likes to see it when you excel and when you succeed. He wants to see you uh, overcome and be a conqueror. And when that happens... His name is magnified because you are the bearer of his name. Let your tongue speak of the righteousness of the Lord and praise him all day long. This has been an interesting uh, psalm. It was just really so much. I, try, I barely skipped over it, but I pray that it blesses you today. Hope you have a fantastic day today. See you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.